Do you need to sign a resignation letter? Let me show you how with JotForm Sign. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and we are currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is go up to the top left hand corner where it says my forms. We're going to change this over to my signed documents. Next, we're going to click the green create sign document button. And if you already have a PDF version of your resignation letter, you can always use the upload document option. But for this, I'm going to go ahead and utilize the template. Now, there are a couple of ways to go about finding a template for you. We can always utilize the search option up at the top, or we have different industries and types over on the left hand side. But I'm going to go ahead and search for resignation. And I think I'm going to go ahead and utilize this one at the bottom, the board resignation letter. Now, before I make any edits, I like to make sure to do a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So we can see that everything is in purple, which means it's just going to be me signing this resignation letter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and head up to the top settings. Now, if we want to change the name of this document, we can do that. If you would like any type of email settings, you can do that here as well. If you have multiple people, it's always nice to put here, you know, please sign ASAP, but it's just going to be me signing, which is just fine. If you have any integrations you would like to add in, you can do that here. But let's head to the Sin tab. Now, as of right now, it's just going to be me. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my information. Good deal. Now, over on the right-hand side of myself and any other person that would be added to this, we have two different icons. We have a key and we have a message bubble. If you would like to add in a passcode or a password, you can do that here. And then we also have the message bubble. So this is gonna be just letting them know, you know what the passcode is one, two, three, or any type of private message that you would like to go to this person. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to options. If you need an expiration date, you can do that. Maybe reminder emails, or if you wanna turn on signer delegation, we can do that here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off signer delegation. We're gonna head back over to recipients and I'm gonna go ahead and send to sign. Yeah, let's head up to my email. And we can see that general message, please sign ASAP. And then we also have the passcode is one, two, three. So I'm gonna go ahead and review and sign document. And we'll enter in our passcode, then validate. And the number of fields to fill out dropped from five to three because it went ahead and filled in some of the fields for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the signature option. Now, if we want to change the style of this, maybe a different style or maybe even different color, we can do that. Or if we want to physically draw our signature, we can do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit that and let's do sign and complete and then accept and send. Now, one thing I want to point out is if we head back over to drop form up here on the top left where it says sign builder, if we change that over to inbox, we can see our document here. Now we know that it was a one page document, but if we keep scrolling, we have an audit trail. So we get to see when and how long in between each stage it took for this document. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing drop form sign for your resignation letter, let us know and I'll see you next time.